Hey guys, we are here with results from day 18 and we're going to get started with the top five things that I wish people knew before they critiqued the carnivore diet. Because for every video I've seen out there supporting carnivore and talking about its benefits, you also have the reverse where people are talking about the negative possible side effects, how it's not balanced, different things. And so we're just going to talk about what I wish those people understood before they made those negative comments against the carnivore diet. Okay. Reason number one is the biggest critiques of the carnivore diet are overwhelmingly people who have never even tried this diet. If you haven't tried something, you know, you may not want to say too much negative about it, especially considering point number two, there are people who have been on this diet for 15 years plus still going strong, doing wonderfully, and they're in great shape, best shape of their lives. Okay, maybe it's not for absolutely everybody, but just the fact that a human being can survive and not just survive, but thrive for that long on a diet tells me that there's something to it. Okay, because if it were as horrible for you as the standard American diet, people would not be able to do this well on it for that long. Number three, doctors who have gone to med school, they spend 6,000 hours plus average in medical school in the course of their eight years, and only 20 of those on average for US doctors are devoted to studying nutrition, okay? That is such a tiny, tiny fraction of their education that it just really kind of frustrates me when people say things like, oh, my doctor doesn't think that this is a good idea, or my doctor doesn't think that this will work, or my doctor thinks this is dangerous. And it's like, okay, how many hours or days or years of experience does your doctor actually have in studying and learning about nutrition. There are plenty of doctors who also agree and support the carnivore diet because they've actually tried it and they've been researching it with their eyes and mind open instead of coming at it from a traditional med school training mindset that doesn't even teach you about these things. And I get it, like, I mean, I don't want to be like a newbie coming on here critiquing all doctors because obviously I have not done like half of the studying that they have, but I did grow up learning about nutrition and health because both of my parents were huge on nutrition from the perspective of it starts with what you put in your mouth and you know, gut health is super important and you want to go like less processed, more natural, all these things that really do matter. And doctors are just not given the time in med school to study these things. You know, it's not all their fault. They're learning a ton of other things that are also very important to learn about. But that doesn't mean that we can always trust them when it comes to our health from a nu nutrition and diet perspective, because they can only teach what they've been taught. Point number four. The experts in this country gave us the SAD diet. They gave us vegetable oils with all those trans fats in them. And they gave us the pyramid charts. And these are the same experts who told us that smoking is good for you and will help you with your health. Okay, so like it just really gets to me that so many people want to just blindly say, follow the experts. And it's like, okay, the experts guided us wrong and are now actually backtracking and changing their mind on some of those things and updating what they're advising people to do based on that new information. And I'm sure, again, that they were doing it based on the best science that they had available, but that doesn't mean that they were right. And it doesn't mean that we should ignore what our own bodies are telling us in response to trying this diet, especially when it's worked for so many people. Number five, virtually everyone who tries this diet raves about the results that they get, okay? Like people are trying it and they're shocked with how their body improves in so many different ways. They're shocked by their gut health. They're shocked by the fact that they no longer have all these aches and pains all over their body. Their skin improves, their hair improves, their mental health improves. Um, just so many different things, you know, chronic illnesses that they couldn't get rid of, gone, like no more. So when people come to you and they're like, oh, you shouldn't do this diet, it's dangerous. Are you sure about this? It's like, well, let's look at the evidence that we actually have available. Let's actually talk to people who have tried this diet before, and then let's kind of 
make a decision about the diet based on reality and not based on potentially very incorrect assumptions about the possible side effects or lack thereof of this diet, okay? There are probably a lot of you that watch this channel already know that because some of you are much longer time carnivores than I am, so yeah, but just here's an encouraging video. Like, you're on the right track. We're all just trying to learn out here, and I think we can be respectful of our doctors and our, you know, health educators' opinions without just taking it all as gospel because it just isn't always. It's not always factual. It doesn't always work for everyone. Not everyone's body is exactly the same. So if someone comes to you and it's like, oh, like, are you sure about this? It sounds really unhealthy. You know, maybe come back and have some of these things to say to them to kind of maybe get them just at least thinking about it. And are they really sure about what they're saying or are they just telling you the same narrative that they've been told all of their lives? Going strong, I will talk about a few side effects just real fast. The bloating has subsided. I'll do a video more about that in a few days. Um, my weight is staying about the same. It was at 129 like a while back. It is not budged from there. It's staying the same. And I have felt, I would say, some like maybe surges of cortisol, I want to say, because I get those like spikes or I feel like almost like angsty and like easily irritated. Whereas before the last few days, I had really been feeling a break from that. Like I was not experiencing that much at all. And then it just kind of started happening again over the last two, maybe three days. So I'll keep an eye on that. I'm not sure exactly what that is. If or when I find out what is causing it, which it could be something as simple as hormones, I will get back with you and update you on that. But until then, that's all I got for you guys. Bye, friends. <laughs>